What's going on, Scorpio? How are you doing? I hope you're doing super well. This is The Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for August 15th to the 21st, 2022. So in this reading, Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy, some things you do not see coming, and also get some advice from your angels and spirit guides regarding August 15th to the 21st, 2022. But before we begin this reading, Scorpio, I want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now if this general reading happens to resonate with you Scorpio definitely smash that like button subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates that would also be greatly appreciated over here Scorpio. So without further ado let's go ahead I'm going to pull the energy and see what wants to come through for you Scorpio for August 15th to the 21st 2022. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead and lay out these cards and see um, what is going on here for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mm, all right, Scorpio. So I, I, I feel like a lot of you, like you got you got your boundaries crossed or something, or uh, something something happened here. Uh, I, I feel like there's someone's asking for your forgiveness or something, and um, you really don't know what to do with it. You don't know how to move forward with a situation that either hurt you or that caused you to pull your energy back or someone to pull their energy back here. Um, and there's 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 almost like you know you reap what you sow here. Like the like if someone. Like it's almost like someone treated you very badly or will for the 15th to the 21st. This is definitely to do, I, I feel like it's to do with love mainly, a conflict in your love life where um, someone like expects you to like basically receive them no matter what. Like they're always going to come back to Scorpio and you're always going to be there. But it's not actually the case. Like you're actually, there seems to be an energy here of you holding someone accountable to their actions. And it's very hard for you to make a decision as to whether you're going to give this person a second chance or to completely walk away from this person in love. This could be someone you're considering, something that the comment they made. For others of you, it's going to be more extreme, an action that they took, a third party, something. They're talking to someone else and you're like, I don't know what to do with this anymore. So it's a weird frequency coming through Scorpio but just bear with me. The six of pentacles here is your opportunity. So this is an even giving and receiving. Now this is going to seem dark to you, but I do have to say what's coming through. There's an energy to give someone the energy that they've been given you. So if someone like didn't take you to be their first option or like they did something negative here, the six of pentacles here in your, as your opportunity is to give someone what they've been given you as a reflection so that they see it. Not because you're trying to be harmful, just so that someone sees a reflection. This could be in your career situation or it could be for a lot of you I'm picking up in your love situation, Scorpio, where it's like if someone did something and they didn't follow up, maybe you say something and you don't follow up. Or like there's something of giving someone a reflection, that's your opportunity. That you're not just gonna be like walked all over by someone or you're not gonna, there's something about accountability, someone not keeping up accountability. Now your challenge is the death card here, Scorpio. So there may be a painful situation where a boundary was crossed for you and you know that it's in your highest good to walk away from a situation. The death card in your challenge may be that there's an inability to walk away here. And there's a lot of love here. There's something that you would like to keep up, but it's just something that happens. Like this could be something in your job, Scorpio, where they're like, by the way, did you know that we uh, implemented a new rule in the contract and we take 
uh, we take $2 off of your final salary. And although it's not the biggest deal, you're like, you know what, I'm not going to do this. They're going to keep implementing these stupid rules. I'm just going to get out now. Or it's like a love situation. The reason I'm saying this, Scorpio, we're going to clarify all this, but you have the two of pentacles, you have the four of pentacles, and you have the justice card here and your overall general energy. So this is you not knowing how to deal justice or like what is the right thing to do in this situation. I feel like in your overall general energy, there's a back and forth with yourself about how you're going to deal with a certain situation in your in your life. And I feel like, you know, the justice, the justice in this situation would be to pull your energy back and give someone, give someone a little bit of a taste of their own medicine. Like if you're in a giant corporation and please apply this to your love life, if you're in a giant corporation and you're like, they treat me like I don't exist. Well, maybe you treat them like they don't exist. And that, that's not obviously a good best practice here, but I'm just reading your energy, at least for the 15th to the 21st. Like there's something here about you getting justice for a situation. I do like to see this card, you know, balance to your own thoughts here, but I feel like you're only going to get balanced to your own thoughts. If you, if you pull away, there's something, there's a love situation. You may not have to pull away forever, but if you don't give someone a taste of their own medicine, they're not going to respect you. This is either in your love life or it's in your career life, Scorpio. Now, the problem is, is that there's a lot of love for this situation in what you don't see coming. You have the Knight of Cups, you have the Ace of Wands, and you also have the Six of Swords here. So I feel like there's something that gets worked out. This could even be a quick love flash that you decide to then, you know what, this is not what I want and move away from it here. There's this there's this love offer here and it's met with like a, it's met, it's met with a, um, an equal energy, but then you decide to move away. There's something about someone deciding to move away in order to get justice. Like the only way that you can get justice in this situation is at least for the time being, you disconnect and you for some how give something or someone a taste of their own medicine. Why this is coming through, I don't know. But when it comes to the advice from your spirit guides, there definitely is some sort of uh, healing that has to take place and I'm not sure that it can take place within the relationship. You have the two of cups, you have the three of swords, and you also have the, the temperance card, Scorpio, and the advice from your spirit guides. So I feel like although there's love on the table, I don't think this person is going anywhere if you decide to disconnect because there's definitely a pulling energy back and um, you may have to sit in your, you may have to like let someone know how bad they hurt you or something like that. The temperance card in this particular case is coming through as purification of energy. You know, the temperance card is about abstaining, abstaining from a quick fix of love, abstaining, uh, abstaining from a quick paycheck or that's like breaking your soul or something like that. So we're gonna, let's go ahead and really get into this reading right now and clarify some of these cards, Scorpio. I wanna clarify why the justice card, why is this justice card here for you in your overall general energy, Scorpio? Let's go ahead and see. Tell me more about this justice. Okay. All right, well, that's interesting, isn't it? What are the likelihood that falling out of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups and we also have the Justice card here. So there seems to be justice between you and a counterpart, someone in, someone that you're dealing with in love. And you also have the Wheel of Fortune here, Scorpio. So there, there's a relationship right now that you're dealing with in your life, whether you believe this or not. There's some sort of karma being worked out between someone that you were meant to be with. This is probably a very deep connection. You have the Two of Cups coming out, Queen and the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, what is going on here, Scorpio? What is going on? Something very deep is going on between you and someone that you're meant to be with, but you're gonna have to have justice. I mean, for right now, the energy seems to be like someone wants forgiveness and the other person is just like, no, I'm done with this. And it's really hurting because um, I do feel like this energy may not be going anywhere. You may have to disconnect for a while only to reconcile because otherwise this person is not gonna learn how to properly treat you. Because here's the problem with this situation. Here, this is like a very deep message. Like both parties know, especially in a love situation, both, there's a lot of forgiveness, there's understanding. People are on the same page here. The King of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the Justice card. One person is apologizing for what they did. The other person is saying, I really appreciate the apology, but I cannot just, I cannot just, you need to build trust over time with me now. You can't just come back in and expect me to treat you exactly how I was treating you before. So, I don't know, this is a very challenging situation. Let's go ahead and clarify why that six of pentacles is here in, 
Why is the Six of Pentacles here in your opportunity, Scorpio? Because it's like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't with this one. I mean... Chariot? One more. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for you, Scorpio, and your opportunity? Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles and also the Eight of Cups here. So this is you being free to walk away from something that you thought was very, it, it could have brought you stability here or it was bringing you a lot of stability here. The Chariot is freedom of movement. You can go forward, you can go backwards, you can go future in time back and you're divinely protected to walk away. If you feel like a boundary was crossed, whether this be at career or in love, I feel like it's love for a lot of you. You're not going to lose anything if you walk away. Like the, the, I'm telling you, you have to give someone a taste of their own medicine, and it could be risky for you. You're like, well, if I give them a taste of their own medicine and I say, no, I'm not ready for this, what if they go off with someone else? What this is saying to me is that you're locked in. The Ten of Pentacles is here in this reading. So unless you pull your energy back, unless you set a boundary with this person, you're not going to get justice. So that's obviously a very difficult situation because a lot of you don't even want this. A lot of you, you're showing up, it's like they're coming back, they're apologizing, and you're just like, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take that Ace of Wands and ride up into that fucking Knight of Cups. But like, I don't know if that's the wisest that course of action. Let's see why the Death card here is in your challenge. You know, why is the Death card here in your challenge? The Ace of Cups here because there's a lot of love in the Justice card. Again, what the hell? Why is the death card here in your challenge? Why is the death card here in your challenge? Queen of Wands, the Four of Cups here, and also the Ten of Cups here. So yeah, you standing in your own power and choosing to disconnect from something feels like the whole weight of the world is on your shoulders here. Your challenge is that there is a lot of love for this person, but it's just too much right now and you need to be bold, you need to go your own way. Even if you happen to be more masculine, replace that with the King of the King of Wands here. The King of uh, Wands, is, Queen of Wands is someone who doesn't really give a shit. The, the Four of Cups, and the, there's something about a disconnection that feels like too much for you. Like it's very hard for you to disconnect from the situation. But at the end of the day, you know it's the right thing to do with the Queen of Wands. There's that little voice in your head, Scorpio, that's saying, if I don't do this, I'm not gonna be respected in this relationship. So I just feel like this is like a breakup thing where it's like there's gonna be a time of healing here. Let's go ahead and clarify why this Three of Swords is here in the advice from your spirit guides. Right, why is the Three of Swords here in the advice? Like, I, I just think with the Temperance card right next to it, you're gonna, you're gonna need to take time to heal yourself uh, from this situation. Let's go ahead and see why the Three of Swords is here. Why is the Three of Swords here? Justice, Two of Swords, and also the Three of Wands here in the advice from your spirit guide. So I'm telling you, I mean, how can how much can the message repeat? The only way to get justice right now is to, it's just to shut someone out for a period of time. The advice from your spirit guide is the Three of Swords and the Two of Swords and also the Justice card. And you also have the Three of Wands, which is being optimistic about the future for this person. You're basically playing a long game, Scorpio, where in order you need to have, let this person know a boundary of mine was crossed. A boundary of mine was crossed and um, unless I tell you how bad I'm hurt and unless I go back into myself and retreat or at least, you know, 
have you could be living in the same house as this person be like i'm sleeping in my own room tonight like there's there's a justice that will happen from abstaining from this love because they're coming at you right they're trying to smother you and like fix it and that's not going to work on you i don't think i really don't think so now let's see why the two of cups is here though scorpio as well because there's still clearly love here um and that's why the death it, like the death card would have been in your opportunity if it was easy the death card is in your challenge so why is the why is the two of cups here though in your um advice from spirit please Why is the Two of Cups here? Well, the Two of Cups is clarified by the Judgment card, the Queen of Pentacles, and also the Lovers card here. So whenever you have the Two of Cups clarified by the Lovers, Spirit's letting you know there's definitely still love here for you and this person. I do not sense that it's over between you and this person. I just sense you making a sound judgment on the situation from the past and really respecting yourself with the Queen of Pentacles. If you happen to be more masculine, make it the King of Pentacles. There's something about self-sufficiency here, you being grounded in your own body away. And the Lover's card to the Judgment card, like whatever happens, happened here i feel like it's not over between you and this person but there's going to be have to if you don't take time out for yourself to show this person i value myself i respect myself the same thing's just going to happen so it's painful if you do it but it's pain, more painful if you don't so with that being said scorpio i'm going to conclude this reading i hope that you enjoyed it this is the autistic mystic 